Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today it's with great pride that I'm unboxing NAD's C588 turntable. Obviously we've all seen a massive resurgence in what is the purest of analog and um, wonderful source that is a turntable. This particular product is designed to hit an amazing price and quality point. Great feature set, amazing as far as its overall build quality and sound quality for a, for a nothing price. I mean, it's such a good little turntable. So, let's have a look. Well, firstly, packaging. Like most of NAD's packaging, it's pretty muted. Obviously, the classic NAD logo. Uh, model number on the top. We've got uh, model and serial number on both ends, along with some import export information, obviously, as part of it. Uh, we've got a lovely little line drawing on the side, which gives you an immediate implication of what the turntable looks like. Um, NAD do two very similar turntables the 588, which this one is, and the 558, which is a slightly lesser model comes with a different platter, uh, feet and cartridge fitted. This one is uh, the better of the two. Opening anything like that is very, very straightforward. Uh, the packaging is sealed with packing tape. And reveals firstly a, an excellent feature. If you're a bit rough with your craft knife and end up digging a bit deep, this cardboard sits there and ensures that you might just uh, not damage the product inside. So that's good. Removing that piece, we see all the accessories. Um, now firstly, there's a good range of things inside. Um, the first and most obvious is the felt mat. Um, nice and easy, good weight, nice quality. In the accessory bag, we've got a set of screen interconnects, a belt, some protective caps or cups for the milled aluminium feet, which you'll see, and please hang around for some photographs, you'll see all this sort of thing up close. You've got a, um, uh, some polishing gloves, uh, this being a high gloss finish. Nice idea, keep your fingerprints away. Um, there is a uh, 45 adapter for the central pin. We've got a tip scale branded NAD, um, very easy to use and set up. Uh, the final two pieces, we've got a little wee tool for changing the uh, belt position on the pulleys and an aluminium, uh, sorry, an Allen key uh, for the purposes of adjusting the counterweight. There's a, an alignment tool in with the manual, as well as some basic setup and unpack information in the, in the manual. Okay. Next layer of, again, another piece of protective cardboard and the, uh, the, the lid. Now, around the lid is some foam and a piece of cardboard the lid is protected by one of those classic synthetic polish bags. There's the lid in perfect condition with the NAD logo and model number. Uh, actually, no, I'll tip that forward for a look. The next is very, very straightforward. It's about taking that turntable and lifting it out of the box and then revealing some of the additional packaging that is uh, packaging and accessories that are inside. You'll see a couple of pieces of closed cell foam that help protect the gloss uh, finish from any uh, damage in transit. Um, there is the counterweight, and that's really, really important to identify and pull out. Packaging. The power supply. It's a regulated DC power supply of pretty good quality and it comes with a New Zealand adapter inside uh, the plastic bag. 
The final piece is the platter. Now that sits right at the bottom because it's the heaviest of all of them, and that is I, you know, ideally separated in the bottom for freight purposes. And you can imagine what damage that might do in uh, transit to the bearings and other things like that. So it's great that it's separately isolated in the bottom and can be well looked after. Now putting that down. Let's look at the turntable itself for a moment. Like anything, it's extremely important at this point that uh, when you remove the cloth bag, you're just a little bit careful. There's a lot of things that it could potentially uh, drag over or snag on as you unpack it. Off comes the bag to reveal the deck. The central uh, pulley wheel, uh, which is heavy, is isolated by a simple piece of cardboard to stop it moving. That cardboard can be very easily removed. So, like that, and then that pulley put back in place. I'm going to pause for a moment and actually fit the belt. It's unnecessary from a setup perspective, or, um, oh, okay, it's essential from a setup perspective in your home, but it's not essential for us as far as its unboxing. Just wanted to put it in place so that you kind of understood. At the top there is a 33, and at the bottom is the 45, and generally you'd use that little tool to adjust it. The platter goes on with ease. Got a central thing there, and away it goes. Beautiful to see. Having a look at the product, the first thing is the feet. Um, they've taken great care, as I lift this up carefully, to use uh, milled aluminium feet. Now that improves any number of things associated with the stability of the deck, uh, vibration, dampening, elimination of surface vibration to the turntable and vice versa from the moving parts means you have to be very careful moving it around, obviously, and hence why they supply you with the protective caps. Looking at the deck, though, as I lift it forward, you'll see a hybrid carbon fibre and steel arm and a Autofon 2M Red uh, pre-fitted or factory fitted. The alignment and all of those things have been done on your behalf, so it's pretty much ready to go straight out of the box. There is a series of... Um, adjustments here for the anti-skate, and you've got a razor and lower here as well. Again, please hang around for some of the photographs, and you'll see bits of this um, close up. The counterweight is easy to fit and slides on. There's a little bit of, um, there's a, a series of rubber seals holding that in place. So as far as being able to set up uh, with the counterweight, it's very, very straightforward. And then once you're happy with it tracking force, you can use the Allen key to tighten things up. Uh, I'll be honest, from a style perspective, that it's absolutely beautiful. You've got a chrome um, uh, counterweight, and then that is emulated in the chrome um, head. Looking at the back, it's pretty simple, and really it's all that it needs to be. We've got the outputs and a ground, as you would expect, both very clearly delineated. The quality of those fittings is extremely good, particularly for the quality, sorry, for the price of this product. And under here we have the DC input, and again another good look at the milled feet. From here, I'm just going to take a moment to put the felt mat on so that everybody can kind of see what it looks like as it gets closer to being complete. And then the lid. Now, whenever you're adding the lid, it's important that you take your time to ensure that it slides on evenly, as if you end up with it on a little angle, it will actually sort of lock in place, and uh, you have to remove it and start all over again. Okay. So, there we have it. NAD's beautiful mid-priced turntable, the C588, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.